Hey everyone, welcome back to another planner video. I'm planning for the week from the 5th of March to the 11th of March and as it's Mother's Day week I decided to use the Mother's Day kit from my shop. Um, last week when I uploaded my monthly plan with me probably a lot of you were shouting at me in the comments because I put Mother's Day down on the wrong day. I put it on the following week which I think was the 18th and it wasn't until after I'd finished filming I kind of realised what I'd done so I do apologise for that and also if anybody has commented on any of my last three videos that I put up last week I haven't managed to answer anything because with all the snow that we've had my internet has kind of been on and off but I'm hoping to go back and answer them all today. I do have some new releases like I said I'm going back to weekly releases. This is the first pop-it release here it's the pyjama puppets so there's some in pajamas and dressing gowns and the kind of dress up cute onesies and then I have another poppet sheet out which is called the worried poppets so if you've got something coming up that you're worried about or maybe you've got a appointment coming up that you're frightened or worried about these are definitely for you or even if you want to track anxiety and then at the bottom you've got four motivational poppets just to help you get through you know a tough day if that's what you need they are there to motivate you I have an Easter kit out as well, which is called Bunny. It's just a really pretty pastel Easter kit. So obviously these are all of your full boxes and then you've got your half box page with some of them on kind of slabs of chocolate. You've got your checklist page, which are all decorated Easter eggs. And then you have your headers and your little things with some extra appointment labels. Your weekend page with your icons, functional text and patterned washi and then your last page which is your washi strips and your date covers and I've also included date dots this month or in this kit so they are in little tiny easter eggs that you can just put on in case you don't want to use this kit in your easter week. I did do a mock-up of this kit in case you want to see what it looks like. It's right here. I just love all the pastel colours. It just makes me look forward to Easter and spring so... Anyway, getting back to the planner video, which is what you guys actually came here for. I'm going to start with the washi as I always do, and I'm just pulling it up a little bit from the top boxes just to create a little bit of white space. And that way, when I'm using my headers, it doesn't all look a bit kind of top heavy and crowded because I've got a little tiny bit of white space there. This also gives me a little bit overhanging that I can just trim with my scissors and keep hold of. And then last week it was so cold I actually went back and added all of my little winter poppets down at the bottom. They're so adorable. I'm planning to go back and kind of add in how cold like the temperatures because I think it would be nice to look back. So once I've trimmed it off the washi I just use it straight away and put it along the bottom. So starting on Monday I put down my to do header and a few weeks ago I was saying how I found I wasn't using many headers or many little things in my spread and I kind of want to get back into using them because unless I have glitter headers I find I'm only using a few headers out of a kit so I definitely want to get back into doing those. So I put down my to do header with a checklist and as my children were off last week I feel like I have a mountain of things to do and I'm really behind and when I know I'm going to be feeling a little overwhelmed on a Monday when I open my planner I just need to write out a list because it just makes me feel more organized and kind of brings more calming vibes my way that was the kind of plan which did obviously change because I'm putting my video up on Tuesday instead of Monday but I'll explain that in a moment so underneath there I put down my today header and I picked up these rose colored days YouTube icons from her shop which I will link down below and I'm just going to write down to upload this plan with me. So yesterday I did actually edit the video and it was all ready to go up and my next doors are doing some DIY or renovating their house so I was unable to do my voiceover and I just couldn't get a break to sit down and do it but I know today they're out so I thought let's just take this chance and quickly do it so I can get it up for you. So I'm sorry that this video is up a day late but it was much better than having drills and hammering in the background. Um, with all the snow that we have had I was a bit behind on posting out orders so I did do all of that yesterday so if you have any orders that were outstanding they were posted yesterday and then obviously I wanted to upload all of my new releases so I just took a half box with a social pop-it with the Etsy symbol and put down my new release. 
I put down my little things header. I've got two TV programs on on Monday. One is Jane the Virgin and the other is Stranger Things Part 2. And then I put down a little crying poppet because my children were off last week from school. Then I thought they would probably have a mountain of homework more than usual and I was completely right. My son has got like six things due in on one day as well as some throughout the week. So I was right to mark off this chunk in my planner to do some homework with them and the facial expression of the poppet was fairly accurate. So moving on to Tuesday, I put down a today header and instead of using the payday sticker that comes with the kit, I decided to use another rose coloured days sticker because they are my new shiny obsession and I just can't help myself. So I put the money icon down on top of a piece of washi just to mark my payday and then I do do my food shop on a Tuesday so I just put down a food shop puppet. Next I put a half box down to design, I also used a poppet which is holding a cup of tea because I will have a new release on Friday. I just realised to myself that even though I had a new release on Monday, I'm going to have one on Friday so you've got like a double release week this week. Not that it matters, I just realised that to myself. Um, I then put down my full box which says mum bun getting stuff done, that's definitely going to be me on Tuesday. And then I put down my little things with a quarter box for my daughter to revise. She has finished doing her like mock exams but I've told her she has to revise still every night, well not every night, but nearly every night right up until her GCSE exams because it's just a good habit to get into. I put a TV little thing down for Jane the Virgin and then I used one of my new pyjama poppets because I want everyone to have a bath and an early night especially as last week they were off school and it wasn't that long ago they had half term in February so I feel like everyone has just fallen out of the school night routine and I want to get them back into it so I've marked that down for everyone just to get back to normal so moving on to Wednesday I put down my today header and a half box because I've been planning for one year. It was on the 7th of March last year I bought my first ever happy planner and I can't believe that I didn't get into planning a lot sooner. But yeah so I've been planning for a whole year which I wanted to mark and I just used the balloon icons to put down. I mean not like I'm going to throw myself a party or anything I just wanted to mark it in my planner. Let me know down in the comments how long you guys have been planning, if you know. And then um, moving on, I just put my full box down. I put a laptop puppet, puppet? <laughs> That's a new word. I put a laptop puppet down for me to design and also a puppet from the home life sheet for me to do some housework. I put my little things header down and because I knew that they would have a lot of homework, I wanted to section another time for them to do some homework. I mean, I don't actually do the homework, obviously, but I like to mark it in my planner because I like to visually kind of tell myself, oh, I need to save some time to sit down with them to do their homework. I just need to block off that bit of time. And when I mark it in my planner, my brain just clicks into it. I'm like, oh, well, after dinner, we need to set aside an hour or I don't know, my brain is a little bit weird. But anyway, moving on to Thursday, I put down my to-do header and a checklist which I will fill in as the week goes along. And then I put my today header down with a silhouette cutting machine which is from Planning Roses and just write down that I want to print and cut for the afternoon. I put down my full box and then underneath there I put a quarter box with a nail icon so I can sit down and do my nails. And then I also took the icons, I'm trying to think what the shop was called, the icons, the bin icons which was from Handmade Hayward I think it was called, um, to mark down that I need to put the bins out for collection and then Jessica Jones comes back with series 2 on Thursday so I just put that down on a TV little thing. For Friday I started with a today header and then put down one of my Etsy social poppets to mark down for my new releases that will come into my shop and then I like to post an Instagram post of my new releases so then I just put down another social poppet with the Instagram symbol to write down for my Insta post. I put my to do header down and then I took a piece of washi and a time to plan sticker that comes with the kit as I want to film next week's plan with me so I just wrote that on a half box and of course I had to use another shiny foiled sticker from Rose Colour Days because I just can't help myself. I 
I put my full box down and the only little thing that I've got on is Stranger Things Series 2. So I just put that on a heart little thing as I had run out of the TV ones. Moving on to the weekend, I started on Saturday and put my today header down and I want to get everything done on Saturday which will then free up Sunday as it's Mother's Day. So I put a piece of washi down with the cleaning day sticker and then a header which says to clean along with the checklist. I almost forgot to put my weekend banner down so I just grabbed two pieces of washi as a background behind it and then I just stuck this straight over the top and then I finished off Saturday with my full box. For Sunday I started with a today header and I used the full box that says Happy Mother's Day as it's actually Mother's Day on the Sunday and then I'm not really sure what we're going to be doing or what we're getting up to but I put down my to-do header and then I took yet another shiny foiled sticker. This one is from the Ginger Cat Co and it says Family Time and then underneath there I just put one of my Family Time Poppets. And then moving back to Saturday, I just wanted to mark that I wanted to go to my parents' house just to drop off my mum's Mother's Day present and card. So I just used a small page flag and some love poppets and just wrote down to drop off my mum's present and card. I left the bottom of Sunday free and that way I can go back and fill it in if we get up to anything. And then moving over to the sidebar, I just used a full box at the top which says Mum you look lovely today. I'm only going to be using one habit tracker as I'm tracking a lot of things in my bullet journal. So I'm just going to go down to one habit tracker. And then I put down my next week section of course and just went in and filled everything out. I then remembered I do actually have a homework header in my kits so I use that along with the weekly checkbox and I think this is going to be a good way to either block off time so I don't have to write it in my planner every time or whether to use it just to keep track of my daughter studying and I try to get all of their homework done Monday through to Friday and that way they have their weekend completely free so I just blocked off the Saturday and Sunday part with my last full box. Then we're going to move on to some deco and as it's Mother's Day I was completely guilt free putting all of this deco down. I used every single piece of it and I was not sorry. And then on Sunday I just pulled off the family time sticker and put a piece of washi behind it as I felt it would stand out a little bit more. And that was it really for this week's spread. I hope you guys like it. If you are a mum, I hope you have a really lovely Mother's Day on Sunday. Or if you're taking your mum out somewhere, I hope you have a really lovely day. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and commenting. You guys always are the sweetest and it means a lot to me when you guys take the time to comment on my videos. So I hope you all have a lovely week and I will see you next time. Bye guys!